No landfalling storms along the United States for the next week to 10 days, but the window opens for landfalling storms later this month. Thanks for watching the forecast feed. Again, we're going to concentrate on the tropics here. I want to begin with this. We are in the heart of the hurricane season, but I don't see any opportunity for any storms to make landfall in the next week. The window is opening September 28th to October 6th. Now, we are well away from any landfalling system. However, if we would get something to form during this time frame, I think it's most likely Florida. That's the area where we really, I think, have to concentrate moving forward here. Now, there's a reason for this. I want to show you uh, what's going on. First, I want to show you the Atlantic. Why do we uh, are we having so many problems getting tropical systems to form? It's all because of one thing. It's called wind shear. I want to show you this product here. So, what the feed does is takes all of the bottles that I'm looking at, and I want to show it to you and give you the reason for our rationale. Now, this is a wind shear product. Pretty easy to read. Wherever you see the reds and the yellows or any coloring, you have wind shear. The darker the colors, the stronger the wind shear. Now, here's our bearings. This is Florida and the Gulf Coast. So here's the East Coast of the United States. Here's the East Coast of Africa. This is the wind shear today. Look at all of the red, yellows, and oranges across the tropical Atlantic. Now, you do have little windows where you don't have any coloring, but for the most part, anything that comes across the Atlantic is going to be dealing with wind shear. This is what it looks like today. How about early next week? Any change? Not really. All of this, and again, west coast of Africa, here's Florida, here are, the, uh, here are the Lesser Antilles, this whole area in the Atlantic, wind shear. You see where you don't see any coloring? Northwest Caribbean, right in here. You see that? Okay, let's go forward. Let's go to next week. Let's go to a week from now. What do you see? You see pockets of wind shear in the tropical Atlantic. Where do you, don't you see it? Northwest Caribbean. The other thing of note, is that the northern Gulf constantly has wind shear. Now, that's one of the reasons why we're not too concerned about the United States early this month. How about the upper air pattern? Let me go to early next week. What are you looking at here? Dip in the jet stream in here. You see that? That means you have westerly wind. So anything that would form in the Atlantic out to sea, anything that would form in the Caribbean out to sea, too much westerly wind shear. But watch how this pattern changed later in the month. You'll see it right in here, right here. Uh-oh. You see, by Monday the 29th, our dip in the jet stream farther west, right in here. And now your steering flow comes in out of the south-southeast. So anything that forms would form in here. Now you have a window to come toward Florida and the Gulf. I think Florida would be the most likely landing spot. So the question is, can we get anything to form in this area, the latter half of the month. And I think the question is yes, because of that wind shear lessening a little bit. I want to show you this graphic uh, right in here as I go forward here. Watch this. This is this tropical wave that we've been talking about over the last couple of days. Now, do not expect any development with this the next couple of days. In fact, let's track it right here. Now, this weekend, nothing. The question is, is there anything left anything left. And if there is, as it gets into the Caribbean early next week, it gets into that area of low wind shear later this, later next week, later in the month, we know the steering flow starts to come in out of the west southwest. I'm telling you, we have a low probability for development in this area. However, however, we're going to have to keep an eye on this. We could also see the southwest Atlantic. Anything that forms in this area is directed where? Toward Florida. The window's closed now. It opens from the 28th to October 6th. And that's our message on the feed.